Hey you guys! It's me, Jen, the taxidermy witch, and yeah, I've got my hair pretty done up. Like, I was trying to represent, like, a very 1987 peacock hairstyle. And when I find my brother's yearbooks and get it approved that I can show their pictures, my male brother, the oldest one, had this giant peacock. And so did his girlfriend in their um, pictures. So anyway, I'm not going to like throw them out there without saying the names, but I cut my hair. It used to be down to like here, down to the bottom of my rib cage, but now it's here and uh, this is all my natural dreads. I took off all the little extensions that were left. And so I was feeling pretty naked for a while, but now I'm feeling good. I just need to get some height to it. So that's what I did to make it look longer. And that's something that you can always do is get a little height with some pins. Yeah. What are we doing in this video? What are we doing? Well, <laughs> we're having fun, that's for sure. We're doing this. We're going to dismember a doll for witchcraft. Hoodoo. And, you know, it can apply to herbal alchemy as well. Remember that Scott Cunningham, my father of witchcraft, uses poppets. And he makes them out of all kinds of things from corn husks to possibly sugar cane like I have to uh, wax, you know. And that's another thing I like to do is paraffin wax. This doll has two arms with at the joints strings so they're separated okay uh, and then she's got a torso she's got two legs and then she's got a head with a big cut on the top and I'll show that all to you I of course forgot to grab the scissors let me find some I'll be back momentarily meanwhile please check out Black Moon Coven apparently I inspired this girl's channel but she inspires me every day so I just want to say I love you, Max, and uh, I will be right back with the scissors so we can cut and dismember this beautiful doll. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Okay, so you get some scissors, you go to the thrift store, you grab a porcelain doll, and you can use this to your mind's extent. I am not kidding. Anything that pops into your intuition, and I love teaching intuitive magic. This, in fact, is the room where my daughter is on the weekends, but on the weekdays I have people come in, and if they want to learn herbal alchemy, they can stay here. They can learn from me right here in my studio and that's really cool. So, here she is. She's fantastic. I showed her in my thrift haul video. So let's remove her hair, number one. Okay, so just take her hair off it's lovely. It's really done up. Uh, there's a possibility we can get it loose and just comb it out. It seems to be just pinned in with these, yeah, bobby pins. Literally with bobby pins. So, uh, no biggie. And we'll use that for poppets or we'll use it for making a little tiny mannequin or anything. You, your mind is the limit, y'all. And uh, possibly this could be working for you. So now she is, in fact, just got styrofoam. So inside, you just pop that off. <laughs> you can put plants in here. I love putting succulents in baby heads. Like, that is my favorite thing. And, you know, 
nothing looks more interesting. So here, look, she's attached with string. Everything is attached. Oh, come on, darling, show them the string. Everything is attached through a string in this to keep everything in. So you just get your skysers and then uh, snip in there. Now take the bonnet and stuff off first because look, you can use all this later, don't throw this away. This bonnet is so cute. Maybe somebody needs a working to bless their new baby girl into the world. I mean, things like this, sure, you can donate them, but put them in your like crafty witchcraft sections so that you can like do really cool things with them later because this is so intricate. Somebody puts so much time and handwork into this, it's lovely. Alright, so now we've got, so we've got a bonnet, and we've got a wig, and we've got, what? Okay, so she's obviously not happy about that. So this just kind of shattered because I pulled it too tight, and so the part, so be careful if you pull it too tight. Something like that. But now it looks like this, alright? So I need to like maybe bind this with some some thread and make it that oh do you guys know that scary story and I am only six minutes in so I'll tell you super quick um there's a girl and a boy they're boyfriend and girlfriend since grade school they go into junior high they fall in love they get married the whole time she's had this big giant um like ribbon around her neck. And Jack keeps asking Jane, why do you have the ribbon around your neck? And she says, one day I'll tell you, one day I'll tell you, one day i tell you. And then one day she's sick and then he pulls it off and her head was only attached with the ribbon. Like, ah, I chilled it, like, it chilled me to the bones. I was eight years old. It was, like, insane. Um, so this is kind of reminding me of that. However, I'm just going to, like, go with it. And you can do plants inside of here, you can do workings inside of the head, you can cross out the mouth, cross out the eyes, cross out the nose, whatever. But I'm going to make this into a really beautiful plant. I'm going to put a succulent out of the top so there's some life growing out of the head, okay? And that can be really representative. Be careful with your porcelain dolls. And then the inside of the head looks like this. Now let's take off the dress and listen! Any of you perverts or pedos, get out of here because I'm going to undress this little doll. And y'all know I ain't into that shit. So anywhere where there's like a joint in the arm, you're just going to cut the ribbon. And if you had tweezers, get in there and pull that ribbon out. I do, but they're in the other room, so hopefully these tweezers will work. Oh, yeah, we'll work on it later. Oh, there's actually like a joint in there that makes it stay. So you just shove it in. There you are. Perfect. Little hand. And you can bind hands. If somebody is texting rumors and gossip about you, you can bind their hands for workings, yeah? Okay, so that can be a big symbolic piece. And then, now let's take off. So all the arms are just, once you cut one piece of rope, they're all just like kind of falling apart. So cut this one as close as you can. Shove it back in all the like rest of the garble because it ain't gonna come out. Apparently. Oh. Um, so you got two hands. Now we've got this oh gorgeous two-piece dress. We've got an underdress. All of this for $7.99, you guys. Underdress with a skirt and you know some tool and if you just wanted to use that tool for magic you could you could take this all apart it's so pretty though uh, and then the outside of the dress is just like this big gorgeous 
uh, almost gross Shirley Temple Nighty type thing. But anyway, um, so now what do we have sitting here? Super creepy. Ah! Uh, we have like a torso and legs. So let's take off the bloomers and see what's happening with legs. And they're super cute little sockies. The feet are so impressive as well. Very impressive. <clears throat> and as you can see, when the doll is just naked, it just like bends like this, you know. Ball and socket joint. Get that hip in there. Alright, now let's cut these apart. If you can't get your, ro your, your uh, scissors in there, just pull and then cut. The one cut should affect mostly the whole either side or whole thing. Again, cut this as close as possible and then push that other bit in. Now you can make a candle out of this foot so somebody couldn't walk in your way. You could make all kinds of things <laughs> with this. This is so flippin' fun. Uh, I can't wait to see what I make with this, honestly. I never know what I'm gonna make with something. That's the beautiful thing about my art, is like, I don't even know. Like, I'm as surprised as y'all are with what I end up doing. Oh, the torso is making me so happy. When you look at it upside down, it actually doesn't look like a torso. It looks like something else. I was able to pull this, like, harvesting out of the base of the torso. So here's what kind of holds in all the stuff. It looks almost like a rubber, like, um, plunger. And the torso is my favorite. I can do so many workings in there. I can make a literal poppet out of this. I can do so much inside of that porcelain. So if you want to uh, do things like this, $7.99, all these little doll pieces. That is what is going on <laughs> with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. And I'm so glad you joined me. This is the kind of stuff I do when I'm alone. Like really, I dig it. I love it. I sleep with dolls in my bed. I sleep with herbs in my bed. I sleep with taxidermy in my bed. I'm a weird cookie, but I'm really glad that you guys are here to be my friends. I love you. Make sure to check out Black Moon Coven on YouTube and Etsy. She's freaking fantastic. All right. See you guys soon.